greeting in this lesson I would like to show you how to track your changes in relationship between two plans this is uh, very useful uh, in periodic uh, project update and report preparation uh, because when you receive your uh, subcontract or uh, plan uh, you cannot uh, make a comparison between each activity by uh, your eye so you need uh, some tools uh, to make it easier for you I prepare a PDF file uh, in my LinkedIn you can download it and uh, I will uh, share you more information about it in this tutorial these are my two plans the, the first one is my original plan at my database and the second one is re related to my subcontractor update and I receive it from my subcontractor View comparison between two plan. The activity C is uh, critical at my subcontractor update and is not critical at my plan. So, it is important to find uh, what the what is the change between two plan. Uh, at the first, I need to make export file in relationship by spreadsheet Excel X. Uh, by uh, for activity relationship at the first I uh, provide the export file from my plan and these fields are necessary do not change it this is my export file and please uh, do it in separate file because you need to make comparison and it's very easier to make comparison between two files and this is my subcontractor update it's happened do not change these fields uh, it's happened in your periodic update so it is very important for you to provide a good solution for yourself I first open my subcontractor relationship file and then open my relationship file I need two column in order to make a comparison my comparison one is to find any changes in relationship I'm looking for track changes so I need a it's very easy I need some solution solution is condition but what is condition should be fixed between two plan it's combination of predecessor and successor I use concatenate in order to uh, combine uh, predecessor and successor activity ID and oh predecessor and successor and I write it to my subcontractor and I'm looking by we look up for find the changes if you find any changes between them it means you have changes in this area but what is the changes 
you should track your changes by successor ID. So I copy successor ID and I come back to my so I find the activity ID in both of plan and I going to comparison what happened between them. This is uh, when you need to track your changes. Let me to show you this is the the change related to finish the startup to activity B and finish start to start with activity C. If this is um, approved for you, you can come back to your subcontractor plan and copy this field be careful about which field I copy I'm not copy these two field and these two field the yellow one is related to predecessor and successor project name and this the next one related to activity WS so you should not copy them and skip the four and paste okay at the first you check the relationship changes but the second you want to find any changes in placement activity in WBS so you need to track your changes uh, with another sequence you should add something into your condition but what is uh, you need to add you need to add predecessor and successor WBS to your condition I add predecessor and successor WBS into my condition this is successor WBS and this is the predecessor WBS if you use this formula for this file two, you can find what is the comparison between two files. But this completely have an error because we have two project file and two WBS name file in this file it is doesn't matter if you copy and paste for this this is all you need to know about predecessor and successor changes in subcontractor plan but if you would like to track any changes in WBS you can add successor and predecessor WBS into your condition and after that look up for this uh, if you find any error this means your subcontractor uh, change assign activity to WBS in that plan if you have any problem for this please make a note in the comments I will reply you immediately and now my export file is ready to use I should only clean it Okay, it's finished and use copy and paste value in order to remove any changes by formula and now 
I can use it for import in my project. This is the picture of my gun chart before import and when I use import Do not need to close all of your project because uh, import file affect on your rich open project and that's it also you can remove any out of sequence activity by this solution I hope this lesson would be useful for you Please keep in touch with my LinkedIn, YouTube, and Instagram for further lesson. Also, you can follow my hashtag at sign global project control to find all of my lesson at the same time. Thank you for your time and hope to see you soon.